Hi everybody, just a video today to look at a querying tool that can be used to help us determine the proximity of items within our model. For example, I've got a number of proposed alignments that are currently laid out on a site that contains a large number of trees. Some of these trees are desirable, some are less than desirable, uh, perhaps some are legacy trees which I would absolutely need to stay away from. In any event, I need to create a list of any trees that are impacted by our road improvements so that I can factor that impact appropriately into our design and then make any revisions you know, as required. So to do this, let's uh, bring in some trees so we can see where all these might be. So I'm going to grab a shapefile here. I've actually got a number of shapefiles for this project. We'll bring in the one, the shapefile that's appropriate with this particular area. We'll drag that in and let go. Oops, I might not have done that correctly. We'll drag that in. There we go. We'll uh, zoom extents so we can come back and see that area. Actually, we'll do zoom previous here. We already had a zoom extents. So, zoom previous. We can see the, uh, the trees in this particular area. Now, my goal, um, these trees were perhaps shot by an arborist, which is why they're in a shape file. If we were to drill down and look at any particular tree, we would see that there is uh, information here that we drag this onto the screen that contains information about the species, um, DBH, the diameter of breast height, uh, condition, multi-stem. This is data that was maybe put together by an arborist to give us information about these trees. And now my, my goal is I need to see what uh, of these trees are impacted um, within 50 foot of my roadway or multiple roadways, my road network in this case. So... Sounds like it might be a challenging thing to quickly be able to determine that, but it's actually quite easy by performing a query. So let's do this first. We're going to do a little bit, do a little bit of setup. I'm going to turn off the trees here in my map task pane. So we'll uh, uncheck that. And then these are alignments, as I mentioned before. We see we hover over the top of them, they're alignments. What I'm going to do to perform the query, I would love to be able to perform them on the alignments, but unfortunately I can't. So for this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break them down to AutoCAD entities, and then we'll build it back up into a topology so that we can create our buffer. So I'm going to select uh, one of the alignments here. We'll right-click and say Select Similar. Grabs them all. I'm going to hit X to explode. Those are exploded. I'm then going to hit uh, right-click, and we'll repeat Explode, and then we're going to say Previous. And we're going to explode them again, because the first time we explode them, they become blocks, like unnamed blocks. The second time we explode them, the objects will become just uh, entities, lines or arcs, whatever made up the geometry for our alignments. So once we have that, we're going to come over to our uh, Map Explorer area here, and we're going to scroll down to Topologies. I'm then going to right-click on Topologies, and we'll create a new one. So when we go to Create That... Uh, there are several different types of topologies that can be created. In this case, we're going to do a network for our road network. We'll call it Roads. We'll say uh, Next. Uh, select manually the objects that will make up our topology. Let's back up here just a touch. We'll window all of the roads or all the entities that make up my roadways. We'll say Next. Um, not going to need to worry about nodes in this particular case. And then I'm going to tell it to create new nodes. In some cases, it'll... Uh, if maybe it doesn't have a node at a uh, intersection, um, it's just good practice to have that. If we were going to do a, you know, path analysis or something like that, it won't have any impact on what we're doing. I'll just check it because it's just a good thing to do when I'm creating topologies. So with uh, my topology created, I can come over and click on the plus here. We can see roads. I'm going to right click on that, and very very quickly, I can go to statistics and start to perform some quick analysis on that. If we go to statistics, we can immediately see that uh, the road network that we're currently looking at is roughly uh, 11,500 plus uh, feet of roadway. So there's you know a little more than two miles of roadway there, something we're able to determine just very quickly by turning it into a, a topology or this type of a network. So what I want to do now is I want to create my buffer. So to represent a 50-foot buffer around all of these roadways. So we're going to use a topology to do that. We'll come up under... Uh, our road topology here, right click. We'll go to analysis and say buffer. And the buffer distance we're going to put in is 50. We'll say next, our, it's going to create a new topology to represent this buffer. 
we'll call it road buffer. We'll say next and the rest of the uh, defaults look good. We'll say finish and that quickly it creates for us a cleaned up uh, buffer representing the uh, 50 foot distance we would like to evaluate or create our list of trees that fall in that area so that we can you know make a determination if we want to move a road or what all is impacted by our current our current road network layout so with that done let's go ahead and go back to the display manager and turn on the trees and then what we'll do is we'll isolate these trees based on a query so that i can see which trees are impacted so to do that we'll do it very quickly here just by right clicking on tree we will come up to query filter or query to filter data and when the query dialog box comes up we're going to say location on map and we're going to say inside of a polygon and that polygon we see we've got a couple options at the bottom for create or select what i'm going to do is we'll hit s for select and then select the largest boundary here which would be the entire uh, perimeter of our road network and then we'll start to carve out those things that we don't need so we're going to start with that and then we're going to say and go to operators here and we'll say not and then we'll say inside this polygon we'll hit s for select and then we'll grab this one so i'm saying i want everything that's inside the larger one but then i don't want or not the things that are inside this one and then we'll do one more here we'll say and not and we'll say inside polygon we'll hit s for select i could select uh, this guy to eliminate that one and then i can continue to work my way across there's two more that i can select but it doesn't look like it would remove any more trees um, so we'll go through and build our formula here to determine that from there i can take and validate that so we'll validate it it says my expression is valid we'll say okay it performs the analysis and there is my uh, trees that are impacted from there we can just go ahead and select uh, one of these trees and I can do show data table it immediately shows for me all of the trees that fall within that uh, within that boundary now that it's been isolated I can see their species diameter in that and then from there um, we have the ability that we can take and export that to a number of different file formats so that I could uh, look at it in Excel or HTML or Word document whatever the case may be uh, it would allow me to create my list and be able to determine that all right so very quickly uh, we started with a roadway uh, network as represented by alignments we had some trees that were brought in with a shape file and within the matter of just a couple of minutes we were able to perform a query and determine exactly which trees will be impacted as a result of that proposed network so i hope this is helpful and look forward to talking to you again see ya